Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have square root of b plus 2 is equal to square root of b and we solve this problem for all the values of b. So here we need to find all the roots of this equation. Uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section And now we move towards our first method So here the reason to solving this problem for first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that you need to find the root of this equation Okay, so uh, if you need to find the root or you need to find the values of B Then you can just do the method number one and if your exam and uh, the question statement is, is that uh, You determine the solution of this equation or uh, you just tell us that is this equation has solution or not so then you can directly do the second method but uh, both of these two methods are valid to solve this problem in for any question okay so uh, here uh, we move towards the solution of this problem and here in the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to take squaring on both of the sides uh, so that when we take squaring it will be written as square root of b plus 2 whole square is equals to square root of b and its whole square and further in the next step uh, here we need to use the nice algebraic formula uh, or uh, we here we have two options to solve this problem uh, but now here we use this nice formula you know that if we have x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y so according to this we move uh, the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as square root of b plus 2 whole square minus square root of b whole square is equals to 0. So here uh, we use this nice formula. So according to this formula we write these terms as you see here the base of this term is our x the base of this term is over y so according to this formula we write these terms as here first we have x minus y the value of x is square root of b plus 2 minus the value of y is square root of b and again we have x plus 2 the value of x is square root of b plus 2 plus the value of y is square root of b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this is the negative term and this is the positive term are cancelled out by each other and we have this is two times of here we need to sum up both of these two values this will become square root of b plus square root of b becomes two times of square root of b and plus this is two and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here in the next step for the values of b we need to multiply these two separately on both of these two values and it will becomes 2 times 2 becomes 4 times of square root of b plus this is 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here for the values of b we move this plus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes 4 times of square root of b is equals to this is plus 4 becomes minus 4 and in the next step here we uh, need more simplifications and here for the values of b first we divide both of the sides by 4 and you see here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 these are cancelled out by this one uh, and we get a uh, square root of b is equals to minus 1 and here our target is to find the values of b for this we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we take squaring it will be written as in this form so this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here b is equals to this is minus 1 square and minus 1 square becomes plus 1 so this is the value of b which we get here in this method and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify that is this value of b is satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so that for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is square root of b plus 2 is equal to square root of b this is the our given question statement and uh, here we substitute b equals to 1 on both of the sides and when you put it here it will become uh, square uh, 1 square root plus 2 is equals to square root of 1 and here you see that square root of 1 is 1 plus 2 is equals to 1 
and this implies that 3 is equals to 1 so here you see that 3 is not equals to 1 in general uh, or in other words we just say that it is not possible that 3 is equals to 1 okay so it is not possible okay so if it is not possible it means that the value of b equals to 1 is not satisfied over this question statement uh, so it means that uh, b equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy it our given question statement so uh, we cannot get any other value of uh, uh, b uh, which is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call that uh, b equals to uh, we call that this equation has no solution because we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so this is the final conclusion about first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is square root of b plus 2 is equals to square root of b this is the our given question statement and here the second method is very straightforward method uh, or very direct method so here in this method we move this plus b to the right hand side and it will become 2 is equals to square root of b minus square root of b and we will get here this is negative and positive are gone and we get here 2 is equals to 0 and you see that 2 is not equals to 0 in general or in other words we say that it is not possible that uh, 2 equals to 0 so uh, it means that we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so it means that uh, this question has no solution okay so this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos